Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Last Call with Scott Hall. I am your host, The Wrestle Vessel, and today we're going to talk about something called Hiding Your Identity. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about today, Parts Unknown, you know, the guy who hosts Last Call with Scott Hall. I have discovered who he is. I have figured it out. I've had sources get in touch with me, and today I'm going to reveal a little bit something about this guy called Parts Unknown and who he really is. All right, first of all, there's this article online, which you can check out at articles.orlandocentitol.com slash 2010-07-14 slash entertainment. It's called Chasen Rants Arrested, Orlando Wrestler Who Appeared on Tool Academy Accused of Sex with a Girl. An Orlando Wrestler who recently competed on a VH1 reality television show is accused of having sex with a teenage girl. Chasen John Rance, a 27-year-old professional wrestler who appeared in the third season of VH1, VH1's Tool Academy, was arrested Sunday and charged with lewd or incidentally battery. The charge is a second-degree felony. Before I go out the article, I'm going to show you why this person is, uh, as you know him, as parts unknown. Here's a couple little quick YouTube clips. Um, I believe you, hopefully you guys can see some of this. Or at least hear it, so let's take a look. Listen to this voice, you'll tell me it's not him. Sir, but how about you just tell everybody what happened so I don't uh, embellish things and get someone killed? You are ridiculous, Adam. Hey, babe, can I call you back? Colby Stern. I thought he was a good little kid. Starts talking to my little sister online. My little sister met him at the show. She thought he was a kid. And uh, I guess she wrote me on MySpace saying, hey, I need your advice about something. And doesn't that sound like parts unknown to you guys? Doesn't that voice sound exactly like him? All right. Um, let me go back to reading this article now. Right, California told the Orange County Sheriff's Office in April that she had at least two sexual encounters with Rance in 2008 when she was 15 and visiting her father in Florida. The girl's mother read her daughter's diary in March and discovered that her daughter had written that she felt bad about some things that she had done in Orlando and arrest reports were shown. In the diary, the girl admitted drinking alcohol, smoking marijuana, and having intercourse with Rance, who was then 25, at his Orlando home after one of his wrestling matches, the report said. So basically they're trying to say, he was 25 years old, there's a 15-year-old girl, and he was taking advantage of her. So it's like he's a sex offender. That's why Parts Unknown has to hide his identity. Let's take a look at more. The girl's mother contacted the Orange County Sheriff's Office from California about the alleged sexual encounters, but initially did not permit her daughter to speak with an Orange County investigator. The mother took the girl to the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Office and was told she was in the wrong jurisdiction. The girl, her mother, and attorneys James Ledford appeared at the Orange County Sheriff's Office on April 9th. The report said, During the interview, the girl said she had more than one sexual encounter with Rance at his Orlando home. She also said that she had spent time with him at the beach and slept in the same bed without having sex, and uh, still continued com communicated with him regularly through phone calls and text messages. So um, here, here's more proof it's him. Look at this. This is a last close Scott Hall video. It's called... Chance Rance versus Santana with Scott Hall commentary. And you can tell this is him. You can hear by his grunts and things. As there's Santana right now entering the ring. If you just search this video on the C-H-A-S-Y-N Rance account. R-A-N-C-E. You can see Santana facing him. Funny referee. Here they are linking up. I didn't drop the hair. I didn't drop the hair. You hear the voice? It's just like him. There's Santana. The nice rollover. A kick to the knee. Santana now going for the arm bar. And nice throw toss by Chance Ryan, the sex offender. A quick arm drag by Santana. Santana, another arm drag. Santana with a drop kick. She's looking very good here against Chance Ryan. One, two. Fast count by the ref. And a kick out. Santana now with the arm bar. I'll just keep doing commentary in this whole match. Might as well. All right, and the sex offender, parts unknown, backs her up into the corner. Misses with the back elbow. Santana go, goes for the top. Nice monkey flip. Santana, a tremendous athlete here. Now, nice back spinning elbow there on the cartwheel. 
Going for the snap, Nick Mayer, not working. That one does. Santana off the ropes. Nice drop kick. And a quick count and a two count on that one. But just take a look at this guy here in the ring, though. You know that's parts unknown. You know it's him. And Santana does another nice little arm drag. He's just flat out jobbing this match up here. All right, let me keep reading here as this match continues on. All right, where I leave off. Those were pre indoors more just the rest. The girl in Boston made the diary. Drinking alcohol, smoking marijuana, and having intercourse with rants. I read that. She also said that she had spent time with him at the beach and slept in the same bed without having sex and still. Okay. The girl said the two had talked about getting married after she gets older, but that she thought he should go to jail for about a hundred years because he was bad and cheated on his girlfriends, according to the report. During a series of three phone calls recorded at the sheriff's office in April, Rance told the girl that he thought she was cool and that she had been drunk during the first sexual encounter. I didn't want to do that. I was waiting for a long time, he said, according to the report. I was going to wait until you were like 18. Rance further told the girl that he didn't think he had forced her to have sex with him, said she was attractive and mature looking and apologized for hurting her. The Orlando Sentinel is not naming the girl or her family members because she is underage. Ledford, the girl's family attorney, declined to speak Wednesday. Rance also declined to speak. His attorney, Warren Lindsay, did not appear to, to, to the messages or did not respond to the messages uh, comment. Rance was released from the Orange County Jail on $3,500 bail, according to jail records. The 181-pound University of Central Florida graduate describes himself on his website using the phrase, not cocky. His appearance on Tool Academy, which seeks to teach romantic relationship skills to so-called bad boys, aired on February 14th. Rance, who had been assigned to the nickname Wrestling Tool, walked off during the first episode. Another re Orlando resident, Jacob T. T Tapia, ultimately won the show's $100,000 top prize. Rance next scheduled to wrestle on Saturday in the Salvation Army in Sanford for tickets blah blah. So as you can see here, he's just a complete pervert. And I'm gonna go back, take a look at the closing ones of this match. Just take a look at the video again. Chance Ryan versus Santana. As he's applying a camel clutch at the moment here to Santana. I don't know really what you could see based upon my webcam as I'm just trying to hold it to the screen. It looks like crap quality probably. But you listen to the guy's voice. You listen to the way he talks, the grunts. This is the same person. This guy is a pedophile, ladies and gentlemen. He deserves to um, be locked up. And I don't know what he's doing here hanging out at Scott Hall's house. But I just wanted to bust him. I wanted to give you his true identity. So check out this dude, Chance Ryan. Or Chance Rance. Because he, he's a real bum, folks. you got to keep your woman away from him. You don't know what this pervert is going to do. He's a very unpredictable guy, so... I, that's all I got to say about this, but I just wanted to reveal that's who he is. This is who Parts Unknown is, the guy who sits down with Scott Hall every day, films the episodes, he wears the mask, he hides it because he's in trouble with the law, ladies and gentlemen. This man is a pedophile. He belongs in jail. He does not deserve to breathe the same fresh air as you and me. I know, who knows if he's uh, you know going around screwing Santana, I don't know. But listen, Scott Hall... You gotta take your words of advice. You getting drunk recently, getting in trouble? This man is a bad influence on you. He's raping little women. I know who he is. And now the world knows. This is the Wrestle Vessel reporting on the update. So then remember, check out Chance Rance. That is the man <coughs> who is parts unknown. End of story. <laughs>